Someone was killed by an undercover narcotics um, police officer that was never trained to be a narcotics officer. They claimed that they, they saw a butt of a gun. At the end of the day, that wasn't true. Ramallah didn't have a gun. After he said he didn't have a gun, there would never be a gun. I'm Ramallah's mom, and this thrust me into the, the limelight to become an activist, to fight for justice for my son, not only just for him, but all victim of police brutality, even just violence in general. I'm out there, no matter who has been killed. You know, it doesn't matter who perp perp perpetrating you know, the, the violence. Violence should never be happening, but it does. But, you know, we are against all violence, not just police violence. Mermali was an 18-year-old boy who was unjustly killed in his Bronx home in front of his little brother and grandmother by a police officer named Richard Hayes. He was accused of possessing a gun, although he did not have a gun at all. A rally in commemoration of his murder was held this past June as a way of demanding the NYPD be held responsible for its actions. The rally is a part of the larger fight against injustice. In an effort to support the organizing of Marley's family and community, the Justice Committee launched an ongoing petition to bring open an investigation around the teenager's murder and put to trial the police officer who shot him. A few days before Ramarley's murder, three young men had been shot and murdered by the police. In the past year alone, research has shown there were 37 police shootings throughout New York City. Bronx District Attorney Robert Johnson convened a grand jury that voted to indict Officer Haste, but a judge threw out the indictment citing prosecutorial error. All charges against Richard Haste were dropped, closing the case and all investigations. Ramarley's family and community, along with community organizations, are demanding further investigations be executed by the Department of Justice and the U.S. Attorney's Office and bring federal charges against Richard Hayes. The message that I have for the, the people of power who has yet to convict the police officer or other police officers is that, that there will be a day when you have to stand and be able to face God. And if you're, able to, if you're unable to hold your head up, you will know exactly why you are unable to hold your head up. Because it's happened so much that the community is at a point of being numb, so those who aren't numb are the ones that come out continually with, uh, with faith that there will be a change. They say get back, we say fight back. They say get back, we say fight back. Get back, 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 fight back. That's why we need, we, we, you know, we have to call our politician. We have to call people that can make changes and tell them, listen, we have to get these changes done because look what happened. We don't want another Ramali. We are here! We are here! At the 47! At the 47! To bear witness! To bear witness! Against those! Against those! Who wish to strike down! Who wish to strike down! On the very oppressed! On the very oppressed! From the stop and frisk policy! From the stop and frisk policy! Where Amali was brutally targeted! Where Amali was brutally targeted! Ran up in his home! Point blank. Shot point blank. This is not. This, this is not about finding criminals. About finding criminals. This is a system. This is a system which you are complicit in. Which you are complicit in. That, that criminalizes. That criminalizes youth that look like me. Youth that look like me. We are not criminals. We are not criminals. We are youth. We are youth. We are your future. We are your future. Do not. Do not. Stop and pray! And murder! And murder! Fucking murder! Fucking murder!